Hi friends, we are going to learn a new chapter in calculus that's called derivative. Up to this point, we have learned in detail the limit chapter, right? Once we have finished this all limit, now we are ready to learn the derivative chapter, right? And again, I am telling you, before learning this derivative, uh, I want to go uh, back a little bit back in coordinate geometry chapter, right? Uh, especially related to the slope. So suppose this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis, right? This is x-axis and this is y-axis. And uh, I have a line, suppose this is my line, which is about, say, y equals to mx plus c, right? mx plus c, or I can also write, uh, suppose it as a function, right? f of x. So uh, now in this, uh, in, this, in this line, this m actually represents the slope, right? Slope as we have learned in the coordinate geometry and we need to find out the value of this slope and to find the value of the slope of a line uh, as we are doing in the coordinate geometry we need to have the two points right so I'm taking this as a, a point and this as a B point so let, let me suppose the x coordinate of this A point is x right so the corresponding y coordinate will be f of x right if you just plug the value of x in this function fx then you'll get the value of y coordinate right so the corresponding y coordinate is f of x that's actually this is a y coordinate right and now here we're going to find again the x coordinate of the b uh, let me suppose this b point is about h distance away right h distance away from the a point right so the total uh, x coordinate of this b point will be this x plus this h right this x plus h therefore uh, what will get the corresponding y coordinate here if you just plug this value x plus h in this function you'll get f of x plus h that's the y coordinate of this b point right so we get the x coordinate uh, sorry we get the a coordinates of the a point also and b points the coordinate of the a point is simply the x coordinate is x here right x comma the y coordinate is f of x We'll be writing in the f of x form, right? Generally, we used to do this in the calculus. Now here, the coordinate of the b point we get x plus s. That's the x x plus s. That's the x coordinate, and the y coordinate we get f of x plus h. F of x plus h. This is our y coordinate of the b point, right? And uh, in coordinate geometry, to find the slope uh, of any line, right? Uh, of, of any line, if you have the two points given, right? Two points coordinate given, then we used to use this formula. Slope of this line will be uh, m we, we represent this slope by m is simply the difference of y coordinate that is y2 minus y1 over difference of x coordinate that is x2 minus x1 or simply the change in y to the change in x right so uh, in this uh, in this uh, in this point this will work as a y2 and this will work as a x2 here this will work as a x1 and this will work as a y1 so I'm just supposing this you can choose any one right so y2 and y1 so y2 here is f of x plus h right minus y uh, y1 it's y1 exactly right y1 y1 is the f of x right over x2 that is x plus h minus uh, minus x1 right so minus x1 x1 is here x1 is simply x right this is comma okay don't suppose this is x1 okay fine now here what what we get we can cut this x and x and finally we get the slope as f of x plus h minus f of x over h this is the slope of this line right this y equals to mx plus c but uh, what about in curve right uh, we're going to find out now the slope uh, right uh, slope of the curve line and before uh, let me tell you before this actually this slope means just the rate of change you know the rate of change of this function this y equals time x plus c is a function right or the simply the rate of the change of this line how this line is changing how this function is changing or simply how the uh, y part is changing with respect to the x part simply the change of this function it, 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 it indicates exactly right so same in the curve also but uh, okay fine uh, for a particular line it's constant right in, in a straight line actually in a linear line it's constant right this 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 part is constant or slope is constant for a linear line now we're going to learn about the curve line right so le let me make the axis right suppose this is my x-axis and y-axis 
I'm going to make a curve line uh, like this. Suppose this is my curve line. Uh, suppose this is function f of x, right? f of x function. Again, as we we learned uh, previously, to find the uh, to find the slope of this or the rate of change, right? Simply how it is changing. We need to find out the two points. I mean, we need to take the two points. So I'm taking this as a uh, suppose p point and this as a q point. This is q point, right? And the x coordinate of this p point. Let me suppose x again, right? So the corresponding y coordinate will be when I plug the value of x here. So I will get f of x, right? And again here, right? Uh, again, I'm supposing in the same way that it is about x distance away, right? Uh, from the p point. This so the x coordinate of this uh, q point will be again x plus h, right? So the corresponding y coordinate of this q point will be f of x plus h. Right, simply I will be plugging this x plus h value in this function, and I will get the y coordinate. Right, actually this is y. It it means y. Right. So now again, what we got? We got the x coordinate. X coordinate as x. Right, f of x, and y f of x is the y coordinate. And here q also the coordinates of the q point we get that is x plus h, x plus h comma uh, y coordinate that is f of x plus h, f of x plus h. Right. So to find the how it is changing or to find the uh, rate how it is changing right we, we we need to take an secant line that is passing through the p and q this this p uh, this this pq is a secant now this secant uh, now tells us the slope of this secant now tells us how this has been changed this function has been stained what is the rate this right what is the rate uh, uh, of change of this function between p and q point right so again I'm just finding the slope of this function right slope of this uh, sorry secant so the slope of secant slope of secant will be again the same formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so here y2 will be working as f of x plus h this will work as a y2 and y1 will work as a f of x f of x whole divided by uh, x2 that is x plus h x plus h minus x so again what I can do I can simply cut this and x so I get the slope m uh, right uh, okay slope of the secant as f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h right since we cut this so we get the value of the slope right now uh, uh, value of the slope of this secant line right so this is the s uh, the rate again the rate again how this function is changing between this p and q point so if i need to find out how it is changing between uh, p and suppose this q dash point right q dash point so i will be using this as x2 y2 here in this function uh, x2 and y2 will be the the coordinates of this q dash point coordinates of this q dash points and at the time it will be suppose h1 and this h1 will be less than this h right less than this h will uh, here it will be less than this h right now uh, if I want to find out here then it will be q dash dash suppose right so uh, again here the coordinate of this h2 will be more less than h and as I will come closer to this, the value of h will also decrease. Initially, it is this much bigger, and it'll more bigger, more smaller, more smaller, more smaller, more smaller, more smaller, more smaller. Means as I'm going to closer to this p point, the value of h is gradually decreasing, decreasing, and decreasing. Right? Uh, let me show you here. I have a video about that. See here. This is as a p point, right? This will work as a p point, and this will work as a q point. And what happened when I'm decreasing the value of h? means the distance of uh, this this x coordinate and this x coordinate this is the this actually this difference is the h actually right the coordinate the difference of the x coordinate here is the h means this and this right so what happens to this just see right so this is q point and p point now just i'm taking this right see here i'm bringing it more closer 
more closer means h is decreasing more decreasing more decreasing more decreasing and i'm going closer and closer to this p point more closer more closer more closer more closer and i'm coming almost almost close to this q point and finally it is going to be zero right so uh, uh, let me do it once again here uh, right see okay fine uh, i hope you understand this right and uh, it is another also video i think if you want this right see here this this here the h is almost coming to zero right almost becoming zero sorry it's almost the h part is almost becoming zero and this this q point is almost going closer to this p point but not exactly at the p point it means the h is not exactly equals to zero but very very infinitely small to zero right infinitely very close to zero simply almost close to zero almost close to zero but not exactly the zero right so now we need to find out the uh, value of the slope uh, the secant slope we are going to find out at very close to this p point so to find out the uh, uh, the slope very close to this p point uh, we need to take the limit right to get the precise level right to get into the precise level we need to take the limit that we recently learned so and how we have to take the limit limit we have to take as h tends to zero so the when h tends to zero this q point will almost comes almost merge to this p point and at that time right at that time what it will be when h tends to zero the slope of the secant right will be equals to limit h tends to zero f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h right this this is the slope of the secant line at that time and this is exactly the derivative this is exactly called the derivative means the slope of the secant line at a particular point is exactly the derivative right and again if you wants to say in another way this derivative again indicates the rate rate of changing of this uh, this rate of changing right rate of changing this curve between between this that particular time that, that that particular point right how it is changing it is changing in infinitely small way right infinitely small way it is changing but uh, it is exactly the same thing how this y part and the x part is changing it's the ratio or you can say the rate how the function is changing at a particular point right at a particular point in the curve how it is changing right at a particular point how the x y part right and the x part x part is changing it's it's again the same meaning means derivative simply will be meaning now that derivative is just the slope of the secant line at a particular point right or the tangent at a particular point you can say so uh, it's going to be very longer video right and I'm gonna make uh, more much more video longer video because I'm using the YouTube right so we'll be meeting in the next video with lots of concept again right some more concept in the derivative right bye bye